Before their fall, as the desires of the Eldari turned inward, they left much of their empire to be managed by psi constructed drones. So I ask you, how were they made? What from? And what could they do? We first look at examples of them being mentioned within novels. We have two examples of reference within the law. The Torture's Tale, where Abelard Vect, leader of Kamara and the Dark Eldari, speaks to a human prisoner about his life. And at the time, the Eldari ruled the heavens. All who could even oppose them, and there were few, were dormant at that time. He says their minds and technology were wielded together. A thought could be captured and harnessed by our wonderful machines. So they did not sully themselves with the labour. We constructed artificial creatures to farm for us, fight for us, explore for us, and the Eldar were then free to dedicate themselves to higher pursuits, the perfection of literature, art, dance, sport, and acting. Striving for that became a part of their religion, politics, and culture. And this led them down the path to Slanesh, every pleasure that the universe could offer utter fulfilment was indulged in. They are also mentioned in Azamun, Hand of Azurian. What meaning do our lives have? We do not strive anymore. Spirit drones and psychomatons explore and conquer in our name, and we reap the rewards of an empire of 10,000 stars. To what do we aspire? What point is there in living this way? So how could they be made? All Eldar tech is based on psychotropic engineering, the manipulation of matter using psychic energy. The materials Eldari use in their engineering are complex and varied psychoplastics that can be formed into solid shapes under psychic pressure. In some respects, they are more like living tissue than inert substances growing and reacting to their environment. In a similar way to plants, the completed device is a semi-organic machine or component that works in a conventional manner, but is often operated by psychic means. One, for example, is Wraithbone, flexible but resilient. If damaged, it can repair itself. The craft walls, which are of incredible size, are made of this. So they might have been made of Wraithbone. Wraithbone is psychic warp energy manipulated by an Eldari bone singer, and in a craft world, it carries within its psychic abilities that allow communication. It carries psychic energy-like cables, with an electric current and it shields those inside from the warp. It performs tasks a machine would. The crew give the orders and the Wraithbone carries this out. I think that works pretty well for the drones and the tasks the Eldar give to them. Pre-fall, exploring, fighting and working. Here is a ship being made from it. The melody of instruments and voice intersected in the centre of the ship's hold, where a light glowed brightly, wisps of it revolving around a bright car to make a galaxy-like tissue. The song changed, the light coalesced, forming matter, wraithbone. The light at the centre of the chamber was dimming as more wraithbones solidified from intangible plasms. The product of the song was luminous, but no more than that. It had crossed the threshold from might be to the is. The structure of Wraithbone blended with psychic circuitry of the craft world, attached at several key nodes. Drawing on this power, the Bone Singers were weaving a pattern of resonant psychic energies, overlapping matrices of power that, when combined, form solid matter fabled Wraithbone. And I would say, pre fall, the Eldari probably, probably had enough psychic power within themselves to do this without the need for the power boost from an infinity circuit. Two curving spurs were being added to the front of a ship. Thuriana's guess was that the area would later house some form of sensory array. Such was its position. With her eyes and ears, she had some vague idea of the wraithbone forming out of the air, growing from the existing skeleton, its creation setting up vibrations that cut across the psychic choir. With her mind, she could appreciate the true beauty of the act. The nascent wraithbone existed as a potentiality within the sky taking on infinite forms. As the bone singers led the other artificers, the skin pulsed and flowed with their desires, their imagining of the ship, design, acting as the guide of fate. Conforming to this shaped destiny, the wraithbone solidified from its amorphous state into a physical material, fulfilling the self-destiny of its existence. Fueled by the infinity circuit, the wraithbone was a distillation of the sky, an amalgam of hope and despair, opportunity and disappointment, love and hate. Life and death, 
the songs of the artisans encompass joy and woe. The realisation of dreams and the dashing of ambitions. The Wraith Bowman's glowing with its own chill light. Its future shaped appearing as a fluttering image on the destiny's edge of vision. Molecule by molecule emerging from its potential to fulfil its destiny. So what might have been the Eldarian made them but quick with psychic might? Blackstone fortresses also have automata, which might be another parallel we can draw for what these things look like. The intelligence within the fortress creates three types of guardians, spindles and drones, as a defence for the fortress. Guardian drones are activated when intrusions and hostile actions are taken. Within the bounds of a fortress, they are large, heavily armed and armoured. They can release hover drones that are small machines that are just above the ground and are unleashed in groups. They intercept any attack made against the guardian drones. There are also spindle drones that look like arachnids and cut down intruders of any type. After they have defeated, their bodies are absorbed back into the fortress, acting like a human body where our defences try to remove any intruder. Now we know that a Blackstone Fortress is made during the war in heaven to help fight the Catan if they ever return. So it makes some sense that these drones might give us hints to how the drones of the Eldar looked and acted. They're either stored and emerge when needed, or are made from the substance of the Blackstone itself, which I think will be made in line with Eldari tech, conjured up from the powers of the warp. So perhaps the material of the Blackstone Fortress itself is some sort of psychoplasty. Anyway, that's just me speculating. The best example we can pull from current law, in terms of warfare and some other areas to expand what they might have been able to do, for the Eldari is the Tau. But it's not a one-to-one. -one. Drones for... Those advocate the greater good fulfil many roles on the battlefield, whereas with the Eldara it's more like, get them to do everything so I can focus on what I want to do, including the fighting itself. But anyway, the Tau drones provide support and act as expendable soldiers, and they also have explore probes with AI, in their case to explore outside the bounds of the Tau Empire. Tau drones provide shield cover for each other. The intelligence of drones can also be used in weapons, so they can be fully automated. And I think that particular part is something that makes sense for the Eldari. They also act in the role of perimeter defences. The Eldari drones could have been imbued in creation with enough intelligence to act in certain ways, like a warp equivalent of a computer, a simple one with instincts and desires for what it needs to do. And to completely free them, perhaps they also had something like the Eldari version of an STC, which can monitor and produce the drones. Vex is something to that effect. A thought could be captured and harnessed by our wonderful machines. So perhaps machines themselves do something like what the bone singers do and produce them, as I mentioned, like an Andari version of an STC, which can monitor and produce the drones and essential intelligence, maybe something like an infinity circuit, but made to act within parameters by the psychic power of the Eldari to oversee that of battlefield drones to fix those that have fallen like the Tau, Surveillance drones I also think would be very important for the Eldari in this period to watch the borders of their empire and something for communication as well. Just to go back to the surveillance drones, if say the Necrons began to wake up again, the Eldari would want to know through some psychic communication and perhaps for the surveillance drones as well, some that oversee certain sites of concern or anomalies as the Eldari monitored sites do post fall. But that's all speculation. And if you like this video on the Eldari, Try this one as well.